Hey, this is Ben Botkin. Uh, welcome to the screencast. And today we're going to be taking a look at Ember Tone's brand new virtual instrument, the Joshua Bell Violin. And when I first heard about this project uh, a couple months ago, I was very excited. Uh, first off, because I knew some about Joshua Bell and his playing and have been a fan for quite a while. And uh, secondly, I know about Impertone and their reputation for the, the detail that they put into particularly solo string instruments. And um, so I've been a fan of them for a while as well. So I was very intrigued about the project. And then I had the opportunity to uh, write an official demo and do some beta testing for the library. So I was very excited. Um, so anyway, what I want to do today is go ahead and do a screencast and play through a demo that, first off, play through a demo that I wrote um, for this library called As the Years Pass. And first I'll do a just a screencast straight from MIDI of the whole piece, and then I'll isolate just the solo violin, and you can see that exposed. You can see what's going on in the MIDI. And then after we've done that, I would like to try to answer the, the, the question, which I know some people have about this library, and I had going into it, which was, how playable is this thing going to be on the fly, first off? And then secondly, how much editing does it take to get it to sound excellent? And even if it does sound good on the fly, how much work do you have to do? You know, if you put in that extra 80%, can you get another 10% out of it or another 15% out of it? Um, does it? Can it take advantage of this meticulous kind of editing? Um, because some libraries are, are um, play very nicely right out of the box, but there's only so many tools for getting them to, to that next level. And some libraries don't play well out of the box, but if you spend a lot of time editing, editing them, you can get them to a high level. So I'm going to try to tackle that question later on. But first, let's go ahead and just take a little listen through uh, this demo. So I will, I'll try to uh, open up Joshua Bell Violin with my strings. I won't open up everything, but this way you can see all the MIDI together. Okie doke. So let's take us a listen. Thank you. 
Okie doke. <clears throat> well, that was the that was the whole piece together. Now let me tell you a little bit about a um, little bit about the violin. Uh, what you're hearing right here is not entirely out of the box. This instrument, and it's also not using the default uh, performance features. It's set up at the moment. Uh, a couple of different things are activated by key switches, which and there's a huge amount of customizing you can do in how the instrument performs, uh, and how it plays, and how it's how it's triggered. Um, let's take a look at just the violin, and we'll, we'll solo this performance. So here's a key switch right here. There's a couple down here. Um, and what you're seeing here is modulation is controlling the amount of vibrato, not the speed of the vibrato. Uh, that should be set. I think in this piece it's set at the highest speed. Um, so it's controlling the amount of your vibrato and not main volume. Let's see. Expression. CC11 is controlling the harshness of the attack in, in this moment. So not to be confused with. Um, dynamics or volume. This is, you know, if it's up high, then we get a harsh attack at the beginning of the note. If it's down low, we get a soft attack at the beginning of the note. So let us go ahead and just play through this demo with just the solo violin exposed, nothing else. Just so you know, I put a little bit of EQ on this violin of my own, plus uh, some reverb from East West Spaces reverb, which I really like. So this is not a pure out of the box sound, but it's not crazy different. So let's just go ahead and take a listen to this soloed. switches down here. I'm going to turn on Consordino for this next section. And that's it for just the solo violin played by itself. Uh, one of the things that you can do, I think, when you open this up out of the box, 
Um, there's a couple different kinds of legato they recorded, uh, but the, the main ones that you use most of the time are a bowed legato and then slurred legato. And usually, I think the out-of-the-box patch um, triggers those based on the speed of your playing. But right here, I in this demo, I have been using key switches to switch between uh, when it's when it, there's a bow and when it's a slur. So, and that's what you see down here. So that is it for the running through the demo. And now let's try to tackle the question of how playable is this library uh, when you're just playing it in live? And then how much editing does it take to get it to sound good? Because you're looking at this and you're seeing uh, this is there's some pretty meticulous MIDI editing uh, in this and this file as you're watching it that's a lot of that's a lot of time to to really finesse the performance and yeah yeah it, it is and when i was first putting this piece together first i put the violin in um fairly hastily without uh, a lot of meticulous editing and i sort and it sounded pretty pretty good really and i debated i knew uh if i change the way i'm doing this i could get it a little bit better but it's going to take more time and I really debated whether or not I was going to do that because it did sound quite good with minimal effort. But at the end of the day, I'm glad I'm glad that I did. And um, so, what you're seeing here, just so you know, this is a highly edited uh, performance. But let's let's see what can be done live. Uh, so let's go ahead now, and we will open up an out of the box Joshua Bell violin. So. Uh, I don't think I had any reverb, additional reverb to this. Turn it up just a little bit louder. I believe at the moment, um, dynamics are controlled by velocity. Yep, that's correct. And uh, the mod wheel is controlling level vibrato. So, uh, low vibrato. more vibrato um, and also you'll note uh, over here it's intelligently changing uh, the, the legato type the transition type as you play so uh, no I don't want that let's go back okay so right now it's on right, legato slurs legato bowed legato and then faster samples Now, I like to control uh, dynamics with uh, expression. And now, my MIDI controller that I actually use is a gaming joystick that I have set up to port uh, controller code data to uh, Cubase. That's a, kind of a, a long, confusing process. I, one day, I might make a video about how I did that. Um, but it's pretty cool because I can control both mod wheel and expression data with one hand while I play. It's kind of cool. It's a little bit awkward, but I've done it enough that I've gotten used to it. So um, real quick, before I open up my customized one, I just want to show you a couple of features. Uh, you can change the character, the, the sound of this. Right now it's on delicate, it's natural. Um, bright. Bold, dark. I didn't have all these. This really nice GUI when I was doing the beta. This is really, really delicious. Um, wow, there's so many different things you can change. Um, you can change the type of performance type you want, or you can make your own custom version. And you can edit your preset. And you can you can go in and change the whole, all the way this instrument behaves. You can change it from using key switches to switch between. Legato, uh, legato types or um, controller code, velocity, or speed, the speed at which you play. It's a pretty sophisticated instrument. You can choose a performance type that is very simple to play out of the box. Or you can set your own 
um, complex custom behavior map up with with um, this. So it all depends on what you want to do. Do you want to get 85% out of the instrument live, or do you want to get 95% out of the instrument with live plus tweaking? And with this demo, I, f I decided to try to get as much as I could out of it and just give it a whole lot of extra time, but it really would have sounded pretty good um, if I'd done something, if I'd taken the simpler out of the box approach. So um, now I'm gonna jump to one that's customized a little bit so I can control um, expression and vibrato with, with one hand. So. So this is all just this is me live playing improving with the instrument. Oops, had a sticky note. So that's fun. Let's let's try let's try a little uh, cinema paradiso. Uh, it's just a gorgeous melody. Joshua Bell has actually uh, played it before in recordings that I've heard, so we can <laughs> we can do a lame comparison. Uh, I'll just lay down a little piano. Let's see, where's my pedal? My pedal kind of it's one of these mobile ones that kind of swims away from me. All right, so there's some piano. Let's give this a try. See how well this goes.
So that was a little, a little bit rough, but you can kind of get an idea for how it can be played on the fly. And then if I had recorded that performance, which I meant to, but I didn't, then I could have gone in and edited whatever um, things that I wanted to change. I could change the way the instrument performs. So anyway, uh, Joshua Bell Violin by Embertone. It is great. Now, that's easy for me to say because I was a, got a free copy for beta testing and demoing. So I got to put out that little that little qualifier, but man, I just want to keep I want to keep screencasting and playing around because this is <laughs> this is a lot of fun. Um, so oh, I, I I love these slurs. They're automatically um, it's automatically switching to the slurred legato for uh, fast fast stuff. So this sort of thing is just beautiful. Oh, I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to turn on Consordino just because it's a simulated um, Consordino. Uh, where is it? Okay, I'm going to turn it on. Here it is without. With. And you can do these just really delicate, really beautiful little arpeggios like this. And real quickly, I'll just show a couple of the, while, while we're here, I'll just show a couple of the different articulations, although there are other videos that get into this a lot more. Uh, there's nice little tremolos. Trills. Ricochet. Pizzicatos, lots of fun. Um, oh, harmonics are really beautiful. Oh, this are gorgeous. They're legato harmonics. Um, anyway, so pond. Tremolos. Um. So pond pizzicatos. Let's see what those are. Sustains soltasto, whatever you say that. I'm not a string player. Super flout. Some of this stuff I actually haven't played with. I'm um, playing with it live, so I should probably stop because this is getting long. But anyway, uh, go to Embertone's website and check out this instrument. I think it's pretty special, and I think a lot of people are going to think so when they listen to demos, and then especially when they have a chance to play around with it, because it is, as you can probably tell by me playing, it's a lot of fun to play. And not only is it fun to play, but you can get that extra 10% out of it if you want to put in a lot of extra effort. So it's the ceiling on it is a lot higher than what you get out of the box. But the out of the box performing uh, is pretty great. And that 
It's hard to say about a solo violin, uh, but I've got a feeling I'm going to be using this one kind of a lot. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is Ben Botkin. Go to my website, benbotkin.com, and make sure you visit Impertone and take a listen to the Joshua Bell violin. Thank you so much. Have a great day.